Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Mitchell here. In this video, we're going to kick off the astrophysics topic by looking at astronomical units and light years. So let's get started. Within the first subtopic of three, gravitation, we're going to start by looking at astronomical units and light years. And this should be a revision from National 5 and also higher physics. So it says here that you will already have seen by now that it is impractical to measure distances in the solar system in meters. This is why we use the astronomical unit, or AU for short. 1AU is defined as the distance from the Earth to the Sun and is equivalent to 150 billion metres. Use the following to convert between AU and metres. So we've got 1AU is equal to 1.5 times 10 to the 11 metres. So that is just this number in scientific notation. You should also note that the distance for 1AU, this value here, is given on the data sheet in the exam. So you don't have to remember it. But you do need to know how to apply it to questions. And there's another unit that we can use instead of metres, which is called the light year. So it says that when the numbers in astronomical units are still too large to be practical, light years are used instead. A light year is the distance that light travels in one year, it is not a time. So just remember that because the word year sounds like a time, it's not a time in this case, it's a distance. We can calculate how far one light year is in meters using a familiar formula, distance speed time, and that's d equals vt. And we did this at national five level. It says to do this, we need the speed of light, three times 10 to the eight meters per second, and the number of seconds in a year, which you find by taking how many days are in a year, multiplying it by how many hours are in a day, multiplying that by how many minutes are in an hour, and multiplying that by how many seconds are in a minute. So we get 365 times 24 times 60 times 60, and then using d equals vt, we plug those numbers in, so we get 3 times 10 to the 8 times 365 times 24 times 60 times 60, and you should get out a value of about 9.46 times 10 to the 15 meters. We can therefore use the following to convert between light years and meters if a question was to present distances in light years, and we want meters in order to do calculations. So one light year is equal to 9.46 times 10 to the 15 meters. And note that the distance for one light year is not given on the data sheet in the exam. So you do need to be able to calculate this number as shown above or remember it. So if you can remember this value 9.46 times 10 to the 15 meters, then that will save you having to do this each time and work it out. But if you can't remember numbers very easily, then you might be able to remember the process of using speed distance time and plugging in these numbers. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.